Hello tout le monde, c'est Ednora22, j'espère que vous allez bien. On se retrouve aujourd'hui pour Trumberbrook, un jeu développé par BTF GmbH et édité par Adop Games. Installez-vous confortablement sur votre canapé, votre lit, votre chaise de bureau ou sur vos WC, peu importe, let's go Alors on commence avec le pré-titre, ici pas de succès, juste à vous apprendre à comment bien manier les commandes du jeu. Sorry pal. We're out of gas and your engine is boiling. Let's see if we can fix you up here. We'll be back on the road in no time. Stranded in the middle of nowhere. Ici, il faudra donc manipuler le curseur avec le joystick droite et appuyer sur la touche directionnelle droite pour interagir avec les objets. No way. A hidden replacement key. That was too easy. As if it wanted to be found. Faites de même avec la boîte à outils. This loot box contains only some rusty pliers. Et nous allons pouvoir entrer dans le bâtiment. It fits. That was almost too easy. Ici, regardez le poster qui se trouve juste derrière la personnage. There's something funny about that picture. Et manipulez-le. Oops. A hidden switch. This must be the main fuse. Extra large, no refill. Ici, j'ai pris les cartes postales accrochées au mur, mais je ne pense pas que ça soit nécessaire. Mais dans le doute, on ne sait jamais. Je ne sais pas si on a Coupez le câble à l'aide de votre pince. Et ressortez. Ici, remplissez votre gobelet avec la glace. Cold as ice. Exactly what I need. Puis, cliquez sur les pompes à essence. Now they are working again. Drink up. Une fois fait. Dying of thirst. Vous pourrez rafraîchir le moteur avec la glace que vous venez de récolter. There you go. Have some cool aid. Et c'est parti. Done. Vous allez pouvoir quitter le prétitre. Finally, we can make off again. Oh, come on. Start already. It's that darn oil pump again. Looks like we'll be stuck here for a while.
sure this is the right place? When's the next bus back to the city? Beverly, I have arrived. I feel spewn out into the most barren, dark void of Europe. All things considered, this could most likely be the best vacation ever. Feeling chilled out already. Arrived at destination after a short walk. Trubberbrook, a tranquil little town. Seems a bit run down. I must say, Beverly, I absolutely fell in love with this town already. Dans ce jeu, vous aurez un succès en lien avec les enregistrements. Il faudra tous les trouver. Certains sont automatiques et d'autres manuels. Par exemple, ici, vous avez votre premier enregistrement fait de manière manuelle. Cliquez bien sur la pancarte au-dessus de la porte. Beverly, I discovered the local movie theater, Mobius Palace. The favorite genres around here appear to be western and noir. Evening. Hey. Nobody there, huh? Doesn't seem so. Cliquez une deuxième fois sur la cloche de la réception. Hello? I'm not going to give up. Good afternoon. How can I help you, darling? Um, there's a room reserved for me. You know the, the lottery? I won a stay over here. You won? How can you win a stay in Trüberbrook? Well, actually, I don't really remember taking part in any lottery myself. Yet I received this winning notification. What was the name again? Hans Tannhauser. T A N Tannhauser, Tannhauser, Elevenhauser. <laughs> oh, oh, Dr. Hans Tannhauser. Oh, yes, here we have it. <laughs> Say, is it a quiet room? Seeking some peace and quiet, uh huh. Well, I'm working on a text, and I could really use some serenity. Text? Are you a kind of writer or something? In a broader sense, yes. Right now, I'm writing a paper on quantum physics. I've heard worse. You arrived just in time for the big anniversary celebration. Trüberbrook is a bit noisier than usual around these days. But apart from that, I'd say you have nothing to worry about in terms of disturbance. Here's your key, Dr. Tenhauser. My name is Trude, by the way. If you don't mind, where are all the other guests? Let's put it this way. The season in Trüberbrook is already over. I get the impression the season has been over for some time. What? 
please, you've got to help me. Did that guy just disappear with my paper? Something unusual happened. There was an uninvited guest in my room tonight. Now that he's escaped, I'm going to chase him down. What is this? Some kind of goo. Where did he go? Darkest night. In the pale starlight, this village appears to be composed of jagged silhouettes and loneliness. Hey there. Taking a little night stroll? Someone was in my room. You only just got here and you already have secret admirers? No, it was a burglar. I think. Well, I haven't seen anyone sneaking around here, but if I were you, I would probably follow these somewhat extremely obvious footprints. You've got a point there. Please excuse me. This situation is growing aggravating. I followed the person who stole my notes into a kind of dead-end street. And now he's vanished. Picture me, standing here at the edge of the world, stripped of my writings. I wonder who on earth would steal a paper on quantum physics. Do you like ghost stories? It is said that a proto-Germanic cult used to live up here in the mountains. They prayed to the spirits of the forests. I know it's a long shot, but maybe this visitor of yours is one of those spirits? Evil spirits? Nonsense, I was just trying to mess with you. What was your name again? Tenhauser? Name's Gretchen. I'm an anthropologist. In fact, those old proto-Germanic ritual grounds just so happen to be my special subject. One of them is supposedly somewhere around here, though I haven't been able to find it yet. Gretchen, well met. Now, that's all well and good, but what am I going to do without my notes? You know what? I'm going to help you track down that burglar. It looks like he escaped with one of the old gondolas. I bet he's hiding somewhere in the mountains, which, incidentally, is... Also where I was heading. Come on, you're a scientist. You're coming with me now and you're going to help me find this ritual site. Who knows, maybe you'll even find your evil spirit there. The one with an interest in quantum whatchamacallits. You scratch my back, I scratch yours. So what do you say? You're with me? Ici, très important, ne choisissez pas la quatrième option de dialogue. I... I knew you had the spirit of adventure in you. Are you ready to go? I'm ready to go. The early bird catches the warm and all that. We have to find a way up the mountain. It would be easiest if we used a cable car. I reckon that's also what our friend thought. The cable car doesn't exactly appear to be in pristine condition. What do you think? Don't worry, I'm sure I can fix this. I can't fix this. The master key is missing and a weasel damaged the electric mains. Maybe it was the burglar who did this. The plan. I'll hold the position and try my best. 
Why don't you take a look around town? We need the master key for the cable car. Also, we need to override the broken mains. Think you can remember that? I'll try to remember. Let's go. Dans ce prochain succès, il faudra impérativement choisir les Hi. mêmes options de dialogue hey. que moi. So, how long have you been here? The day before yesterday. Feels much longer though. And just saying, the public transportation around here? Germany is a mess. But then how did you get here? Individual travel. By motorcycle, of course. Why Triberbrook, of all places? It's hard to find, even on a map. But I'm not from these parts, after all. I've been trying to pinpoint the exact location of those ritual grounds for a while now. And when I finally found them, I immediately took off. The people around here are nice. But also a little weird, don't you think? Now that you mention it... Tell me about yourself. What would you like to know? So you're from the States, huh? The United States of America. Where from exactly? Woodenville, Washington. Hmm, never heard of it. Any bigger cities nearby that I might know? Seattle, the rainy jewel of the Northwest. Heard of it? Oh yes, I know the place. I was passing through some time ago. You've been to the States? Yes, once. That was a few years back though. Actually, I had come to New York to attend a conference, but then I got acquainted with some folks there and stayed a while longer. A while longer? In New York City? Not the whole time, no. Took a little road trip. First off to the New England states, Boston, Waterville, all the way up to Moosehead Lake, Mount Catadine and so on. Then, Canada, the Midwest. Montreal, Toronto, Detroit, Chicago. On and on. Then Washington State, sort of got stuck there. Oregon, down to San Francisco. Ah, those were the days. Wow, you must have passed through Seattle on the way then. Hmm, yes, maybe. And that's where you study? No, I studied on the East Coast, the Cornell, Ithaca, under Dr. Schrodinger. Have you heard of him? Ah, of course. Now I understand why you're on exchange in Germany. Exchange? No, it's more of a coincidence. I won the trip. You won? Don't ask me. I've never taken part in any lottery. Interesting. Uh-huh. So, so. Hi. Hey. About the cable car. And you really want to go up there? Why, are you afraid? Whatever we find over there could be of great importance to the Institute of Anthropology. Come on already! And that cable car looks sturdy enough, doesn't it? Gretchen, what was it that you do for a living again? I'm an anthropologist. I am conducting research on an ancient proto-Germanic culture that is believed to have settled right here in this area. That was some 2,000 years ago, though. What kind of a cult is it you're looking for precisely? A proto-Germanic cult here in the mountains. Proto-Germanic meaning before the Germans. Anyway, this place is supposed to have been a holy site to those proto-Germans, where they made contact with their gods. Exciting, huh? About this cult, were they dangerous? Tenhauser, they're all dead by now. The thing about spirits? That was a joke, okay? Okay... We might as well have a cup of coffee before we leave. Tenhauser, I can't help the feeling you're not 100% behind our mission. It's very important for my research to reach the top of this mountain. Maybe we'll find your notes up there as well. Notes? It is a timeless masterpiece. Okay, I'll try to come up with something. Anything else I can help you with? No, thanks. That'll be all for now. Well then, bye. Bye. See you soon. Hi. Hey. I wonder what interest the burglar has in my paper. Presumably not the brightest candle on the cake. Who else would steal a paper on quantum physics? I just wanted to say hi. All right. 
Don't forget we need to get the cable car working. The local gondola lift's hauling cable seem to be intact, although there aren't any gondolas or mining carts attached to it. A smell of oil and soil lingers in the air. The platform further uptown presents a wonderful view of the valley. Leaning on this rusty rail, nose to the wind, I can let my gaze wander freely to the other shore and across the mountains. Are you okay? Do you have brain damage? It's a well-known fact that weasels have a dangerously loving affection towards all sorts of cables. The present case suggests a rather impressive specimen, judging by the thickness of the cable. Last resort, self-termination. I noticed a figure on one of the rocks, a hexagon. I can only speculate on its purpose. Time waits for no man, not even in Trevorbrook. I discovered a modern telecommunication system further uptown. This might be important to anybody wondering if the world is still turning at the end of the line. I met a woman named Gretchen in Truberbrook. She is a fellow scientist. Gretchen studied anthropology in Vienna. Uh, could you please focus on the task at hand? As you well know, Beverly, I am a man tempered by a sober lifestyle. However, I keep dwelling on the fact that a sheer infinite amount of states of matter can lie between expectation and reality. My accommodation, the guest house Fathest Lust, looks slightly more luxurious in the notification. Vous trouverez dans cette pièce votre tout premier journal sur quatre. Now look at all these fishing rods. Quite the collection. You can borrow one if you like, but only in exchange for a pawn. They have a tendency to get lost otherwise. Pawn? You mean deposit? Would this be an adequate deposit for the fishing rod? I'm afraid not. It should be something that attracts attention, but has no real importance. Something you can do without while you are on fishing tour. Good morning. Morning, Mr. Tenhauser. Très important ici, il ne faut pas signaler le vol. Can you tell me something about the old cable car? The cable car leads up to the old mine. It used to belong to the Baron von Sülz. 
Then this company from overseas forced him to sell it. Who exactly is this Baron von Sulz? Baron von Sulz used to run the mine, a philanthropist and patron of the arts. His wife was a flamboyant Baroness von Sulz. You must have heard of her. Anyway, when the company took over the mine, the Baroness dropped him as well and left the Baron behind. A broken man. Now his cat is his only remaining pleasure. What were they mining for? Do you know? An old silver mine. So nothing a um, quantum physicist would be interested in. It's been a few years, back in the days, when there was enough work for everyone. Then this company took over the mine, only to shut it down immediately. So why did they shut down the mine? There is talk and rumors all over the town. Allegedly, people started disappearing without a trace. Tourists, poor laborers without families, the odd stranger. Some folks were also talking about toxic residues in the air and the water. But nobody knows anything with certainty. If you ask me, I'm just glad the whole affair has come to an end. All those rumors have kept spa guests away for years, as you can see for yourself. What about this mysterious company you were talking of? They are called Millennium Cooperative or something like that. A very dubious corporation. They have connections to the top, if you know what I mean. Way up to the highest circles of power. What became of the people working the mine? More and more outsiders came to town. Nobody knows what they were actually doing in the mines. Some went missing, some went crazy. Who can tell? At one point, they even bought the old sanitarium in order to provide housing for their workers. That was before the mine shut down, of course. I've heard enough. Thank you. Anything else I can do for you? This establishment you call your own has quite the charm. A family business for more than 75 years. Actually, I took over the guest house together with my brother. But now it's just me and my little daughter. Being the only guest, I was wondering, how's the season going so far? Season? We haven't had one in ages. Your daughter really likes watching TV, huh? You see, the kid is always in front of the box. She's got her mind set on extraterrestrials and alien worlds. Nonsense, don't you think? So what happened to your brother? The only interest that scoundrel had was in his bottles. In the end, that good-for-nothing took a half too much of his bolts and shoes and just made off. Anything else I can do for you? Truda, would you pour me one of your Pilsner beers, please? Just a second, Professor. Here, a coaster. There you go. Cheers! There's something lying on the floor. It's a massage rod. Somebody must have misplaced it. Alors, vu comment ça vibre, à mon avis, c'est pas une tige de massage. Hein? Pour 
pour faire l'enregistrement suivant, Mais regardez d'abord le trou de souris, puis ensuite vous pourrez enregistrer vos pensées. Supplemental. I'm afraid the condition of my room is far below expected. Just a hanger. This can must have fallen off the table. Pour les deux enregistrements concernant le buffet, cliquez une première fois tout à droite, puis sur la table Note au self, centre. The buffet in this guest house is an obvious case for the public health department. I don't want to take this with me. If anywhere, it belongs in the trash. But I love cheese skewers. They serve traditionally hearty local meals in this place. Apparently, a few maggots found themselves a lovely home in there. I'll save you, my little friend. Keep your distance. This table has a horrible wobble. What's this? The table stopped wobbling? Oh, thank you so very much. I was hardly able to focus on anything else but this cursed wobblery. Pour obtenir le prochain succès, il faudra épuiser toutes les options de dialogue. Good morning. Excuse me, sir. Are you feeling any better now that the table isn't wobbling anymore? Thank you for asking. But joy? What does it even mean? My life lost most of its joy since Klaus disappeared. Who is Klaus? Klaus is my tomcat, an angel of an animal. He was the only one to always remain by my side. But now, he's vanished, without a trace. Everything in this world is going down the drain. Mark my words. Was Claus abducted? I don't know. Claus was always faithful and stood by my side. Then he just disappeared, without a trace. You can't rely on anything in this world anymore. Let me tell you. It's... Just awful. Could you tell me something about the cable car in this town? Uh, don't bring up the old cable car. I don't even want to think about it. So what's with the cable car? I used to own the cable car. In fact, uh, the whole mine. Everything was taken away from me. Those maniacs destroyed everything. The cable car, the mine, the whole village. Please, go on. More and more outsiders came to town. What they were actually up to in the mine, no one knows for certain. But after a few years of quick profits, they shut down the place and closed the cable car all together in one go. Just think of it. This was my life's work. They closed down the mines, drove away the people, and turned a once flourishing community into a ghost town. Who are these maniacs you're referring to? The Millennium Cooperative, a multinational conglomerate of enterprises. Ruthless and unscrupulous. They leave us little family businesses with next to nothing. 
You ran a mining business? Well, but yes. I am the Baron von Zulz, entrepreneur and mining engineer in the third generation, district mayor of Truberbrook Zulz and Truberbrook Dussel, assistant secretary to the municipal council, patron of Truberbrook and the arts, well known beyond the borders of this country. What do you mean they destroyed everything? First, they stripped me of the mine. Then, more and more dubious eggheads and foreign workers started pouring into town, driving visitors away with their gigantic machines. These must have been difficult times for you. I appreciate your concern. You've got yourself a nice spot here. The name is Baron Otto Titan from Trevor Bruxelles. Tannhauser, pleased to meet you. Please, come over. Don't waste the opportunity to put up with the company of a lonely, broken old man. Are you from around these parts? You may very well say so. I put all my life's work into the well-being and prosperity of Trubabrook. I once was the owner of both, the mines and the cable car. That's all history now. Do you have any friends or family? My spouse left me for good, and my beloved Trubabrook is slowly going down the drain. Only Claus remained loyal to me all these years. Alas, now even he has disappeared. What kind of a strange place is this? Well, you should know. This used to be one of the most beautiful spots on the face of the planet. The fair and the fortunate came here for treatment. Travelers and tourists of all fashion Citizens that weren't occupied in the tourism business found work in the mines. But it's all over now. Do you still have the key to the old cable car, by any chance? Please excuse me, but I need to be on my own now. I need some rest to mourn for Claus. Any news about Claus? Nothing. Would you mind lending me the key to the old cable car? <sighs> the cable car, the cable car! What do you want with it? There's nothing worthwhile up there. Don't bother me with your mumbo jumbo, will ya? My faithful cat Claus has abandoned me. That's all I can think of right now. Please excuse me. Looks like it was struck by lightning the other night. Still looks in good condition, though. We know well enough that cats like to climb. Unfortunately, their bodies seem to be designed for climbing upwards only. Anyway, Beverly, I've spotted a gigantic red tabby in a tree, which, on closer inspection, could in fact also be more like a fox. Assistance may be required. I'll just try luring the cat down with a mating call. Meow. Meow. No reaction. That's some sturdy, full-grown reed. It's 
soft as a feather. Oh, thanks. For me? Does this device suffice as a deposit in exchange for the fishing rod? Uh, yes. Feel free to leave it here. Yes, that sounds like a good deal. Just be sure to bring it back, will you? Good morning. Morning, Mr. Tenhauser. Ici, parler du chat, mais pas du vol. About the cable car. Sure. What else do you want to know? Do you have an idea what became of the Baron's cat? After he had lost the mine, the cable car, and his wife, all that remained was a kitten. If you ask me, it was probably a bit too much for the poor creature. I've heard enough. Thank you. Anything else I can do for you? I'll be leaving then. Make yourself at home, Mr. Tenhauser. By the way, the buffet is open. Please help yourself. Comme le succès précédent, ici il faudra cliquer sur toutes les options de dialogue. Excuse me, didn't mean to. What's that you're watching? Never seen a TV before? Coming up next, a new episode of Rocket Trip Andromeda. Uh... Have you been living under a rock? With a TV set, you can take journeys to other worlds. Now that I think of it, I have never seen you here before. Are you from another world as well? You bet I am. My name is Hans. I just arrived from Berlin. Hey Hans, I'm Leni. My mom owns the place. 70,000 light years from home, the rocket ship has stranded in star system Omega-3. Is Berlin also in star system Omega-3? Close. Omega-4. That's right next to it. So, you know the place? You bet I do. Star Cyber Notation Commander Aurora is searching for a way back home. And what do you do for a living? Are you a famous cyber notation too? Sorry, I'm just an ordinary space pilot. Oh, okay. Hmm, don't be sad. Anyways, I'm going to be a Star Cyber Notation. Only Commander Aurora can disintegrate the even Rulands into thin air with her space beams. So, do you Bellinellians have any special powers? Can you make things disappear? I can make incredible amounts of candy disappear. <laughs> I can do that too. Stay tuned, folks. We will be right back after a few consumer-oriented product endorsements. My uncle knew how to make things disappear as well. I also know where, but I mustn't tell anyone on Earth. Your uncle was a wizard? Wizards? They aren't even real. So, what do I have to do to make you tell me? Hmm, there's only one thing I can think of. Can you prove you're not an earthling? I'll think of something. This is the star log I'm using to stay in contact with my home planet. Just met human child Lenny, keeper of a cosmic secret. Awesome. Is this a star log for real? May I please? My pleasure. This is Lenny of Planet Earth speaking. My uncle had a secret stash hidden under a loose plank in room 3. 
Room 3? That happens to be my room. Room 3 used to be where my Uncle Heinz lived. And where is your uncle now? My mom says he is now living on planet No Good. is a hidden stash below. Loads of useless junk and an almost empty bottle of schnapps. I'll only take the schnapps. Bolts and shoes. Well then, good catch. What the... uh... can opener? You like this, don't you? Nowhere to run from here, kitty. Oh, I think he passed out. Now I've got you. Is this by chance your cat, Claus? Oh, my beloved Claus. Where have you been? 
You look exhausted, old friend. Good morning. Excuse me, sir. Would you mind lending me the key to the old cable car? You've been so kind to me today. You have reunited an old man with his loyal cat. I'd have given you everything. My heritage, my stocks, my startups. Yet all you desire in your modesty is this aged key. Here you are. I can't fathom what you may want with it, but please take it. Now it's a case for the metal restorer. I professionally disassembled this town's landmark, an old set of armor, in a fit of passion. Note to self, make another appointment with the clinical psychologist. I'll just leave it like that. I'm sure this will take us up the mountain. You're a funny man, Tenhauser. I like it. Lots. We'll meet on top in case you manage to find a way. See ya. Sur ce, je vous laisse. N'hésitez pas à vous abonner à ma chaîne YouTube, à mettre un pouce vers le haut sur la vidéo ou à commenter. Je réponds très volontiers à vos questions. Rejoignez-moi sur Twitch. Je suis aussi sur Twitter si jamais. On se retrouve très bientôt pour la suite du jeu. D'ici là, portez-vous bien. À la prochaine. Ciao.